Now I talked a little bit about my experience in the US when I went to Cad from Cadbury's to EDS I had the distinction of bringing the second computer to India after IBM left. I know some several great people are in the audience. Nelco and the first QMRP system, we used to call them Quantel MRP system, was installed. I had a team of 30 planners. We didn't eliminate the job, but we started putting them to do more innovation work. Somebody talked about his computers going to change. I really don't think so because I've been part of this uh, innovation that has happened with computers. But if I were to look at, I really dreamt that I will be one of, one of the days the chief supply chain guy for General Motors. That's why I went to US. But I was with Delco Electronics and my fate changed and I was forced to get into imaging technology. I'm not unhappy about it, but in companies like General Motors, if you look at it, supply chain is everything today. Parts are designed in some parts of the world, prototypes are made somewhere, product life cycle is constantly under pressure coming down from three years to two years for new models and all these activities from design to complete building of a plant and plastic molds and semiconductors in it all of these fall under supply chain now i really wish i had taken up the somehow got the opportunity to work in gm on supply chain i really would have enjoyed so i envy all of you who are in that field today and that's one of the reason i chose to come and talk to you all is that there is unbelievable things to be done there i think what we need is organizations like iimm constantly putting that challenge in front of each one of us and putting metrics as to how material management and supply chain management can make India competitive. Now, I don't have what are the futures uh, ahead of all of us in terms of supply chain. How many of you in supply chain use Google map few please please uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about Medol if you come to our company we are nothing but a boring we draw blood we do some test which anybody can do we have CTs we have MRIs anybody can do those right then what is it that excites people like me to get into the business? Today, I was told to talk, I don't like to talk about the companies we build, but hopefully it is not bragging, but it is trying to give you how the world can change. The reason I got into healthcare from BPO was I was passionate about rural India. I traveled and I had done lots of work for large insurance companies as an IT and BPO guy. And I was looking to do something in healthcare because healthcare was very fragmented and I like fragmented industries. And I went on a four and a half month south tour after traveling to 38 countries going by train and in a place near Melur, I was meeting a gynecologist and I was asking her what happened and she said, Sir, yesterday I delivered a headless baby and there is a technical term, I really am not a doctor so I don't know. And I said, today's day and age you delivered a headless baby, a mother carried a full term baby for nine months and nobody found out that there is no head. It happens one in a million. 
that moved me and i'm still fighting several laws in our country like pndt which don't allow us to do ultrasound for the poorest of the poor but the point that i'm trying to get to is today an average farmer if he is unwell has to travel many a times for a simple blood test almost almost anywhere from 60 to 90 kilometers doctors are not available in small towns and blood check facilities are not available in india he travels loses a day of wage and does a test and pays an exorbitant amount and comes back many a times doesn't even have prescription because none of those prescriptions are available this is the state of healthcare in our industry in our country there is no doubt about that i am not even exaggerating and today with the help of google map and with the help of the government of andhra pradesh today we are in every place the maximum distance that the blood has to travel is 30 kilometers and we collect it in almost every small village and bring it to our facility <laughs> subu told me i must talk about it because it is supply chain and uh, there is phenomenal challenges that are there there are certain types of blood test which the whole blood has to come certain types of blood we can take the serum and test the serum but the whole blood lyses which means it becomes a clot so the challenge for us is to get a refrigerated small box and to move it and we are traveling with the urine and many a times you don't have motorcycles roads right and when you start imagining these problems these are the kinds of challenges that young mbas are solving every day in our company they are not material managers they are not supply chain specialists they just understand that the blood has to move from here to here and it should work and they are finding very innovative solution share autos they are finding bus drivers they are putting and packing it and sealing it and sending it with them cost is important right a blood test tube and the poorest of the poor cannot afford even what we call as the cghs rates and we are selling it at almost 30% cheaper than a cghs rate and the cost of transporting the blood is high now the reason i am again and again saying it is supply chain i was in michigan and i had the fortune to know dominos president he was not the owner very well the he built a 800 million dollar business he was a supply chain guy 800 million dollar business with 350 million dollar profit because he perfected the packing of the dough the butter the vegetables fresh cheese everything refrigerated going to each of the 10000 domino shop on time every day he forecasted the supplies he reverse calculated the bill of material what he will need and filled his stock every single day exact quantity because these are all perishable they all had to be refrigerated he had refrigerated trucks now in india if you really look about it whether we take food items whether we take warehousing of agriculture whether we take supply chain automobile the challenges are unbelievable so i am requesting each of you to think way out of the box and not just push those computers and send your purchase requisitions and send the purchase orders and start innovating because that is the only way we are going to become globally competitive thank you all thank you